So like what will you do with your first salary? Being an MBA student is like uh, first of all you think like poor we will focus on. Oh, so what are the platforms you suggest for your practice? It will ask you how did you manage in leadership skills. You know to get themselves placed as a software developer role. So what they have to do mainly mm-hmm. and when they have to start actually. Even if they start late, can they do it? How how should they do it? <laughs> Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. This is Sai Sharma Malia, last from NIT Varangal. So I hope you are enjoying each and every video I am posting in this particular placement series. So today I am with uh, one of my friends from Metallurgy and Materials Engineering Department. So it's one of the songs I cute. He got placed into a software role. So uh, he's none other than Sai Adazim, and uh, his placement is into the SaaS nerves. Let let us know more about this placement journey and uh, how he has uh, started his coding journey so that he can get into a software role. from a non secure branch so let's go uh hi azim thank you for coming here sir uh so like uh, really happy to see, see you here and uh, i'm like really looking forward to know more about your placement journey because a student from non secure getting into software role is not an easy thing uh, yeah and with that to getting into such a big company uh so saas labs yeah so uh like tell us more about you uh, uh, like just please introduce about you first okay before we go into in detail Please introduce about yourself to all the audience. Hello, guys. Uh, Michael said this thing, uh, and I my I have pursued my B Tech from Metallurgical and Materials Engineering. My CGPA uh, from the up to seventh semester is uh, eight point two eight around, and uh, uh, I have placed into the SAS Labs uh, company, and uh, I still remember uh, my placement date was around twenty September twenty twenty two. So, like, what's the CTC SAS Lab is offering uh, for a non-secure branch? Is there any difference for a non-secure branch? No, no. Uh, it was open for all, uh, and uh, the CTC offered for same that was twenty five lakhs for everyone. At uh, the base was around fifteen lakhs. Oh. But I listen for that. I'm uh, really happy for that. Uh, so, non-secure guy getting a software job of twenty five lakhs for an amazing, really good, great thing. So, all the best for your future, man. Uh, so, like, uh, can you share us the Interview process of uh, SAS Labs. Like, what are the selection process or selection criteria they are followed from the start of application to the getting offer letter? What are all the steps involved? So uh, the first is basically resume shortlisting uh, that uh, is followed by every company. Uh, the second was it was open for all. Uh, CGP cutoff was uh, around six, seven above, seven above, and uh, yeah, that was the basic uh, requirement. and uh, the role offer was software development uh, and uh, the uh, the they, there were three basic rounds uh, the first was uh, online test okay uh, it so was what they focused in online test in online test uh, there were majorly 18 uh, to 15 mcq questions uh, based on dse okay. and uh, two coding rounds coding uh, questions were there that was dse form was 10 they gave it was around 1 uh, hour 30 minutes After that, uh, I got selected. Around ten of us were shortlisted. Uh, then uh, the first round was the interview, uh, in which uh, we have basic discussion about introduce about yourself and all. Uh, then uh, uh, the interviewer asked me to explain about my project uh, briefly. What have you mentioned in the resume? So uh, in my resume, basically, I have uh, included all the tech stack uh, like uh, C plus plus, HTML, JavaScript, all that, and web development based. uh no jazz i have followed uh in the back end so uh i have done uh, this project from the core state so i have explained the same project to them okay. so uh, he asked me few uh, questions based on that project like uh, what are the uh, uh what are those uh, databases you have used some basic uh, this so, what about your project what are you mentioned on the is yeah it should be pretty, pretty perfect based for yeah okay. uh one basic uh, difference was they asked me more uh, depth knowledge questions on the project uh yeah and uh, after project he shift uh, into the dse questions uh dse he asked me the uh, three to four dse questions in the first so it was like one hour in the yeah one hour one hour so uh in uh, they asked me around four questions two pointer dp uh and uh, array based dq based i don't remember the question uh, that way. but yeah uh dq was very tricky to apply then uh, after that he asked me generic questions what do you do in your free time and all 
So on a note, they're focusing on everything now. Whatever you mentioned, yeah, is so like once after got sorted stuff for the next round. So what what about the next round? Like what they focused in the next round? So in next round there were two interviewers, Simon actually. So uh, they uh, don't uh, they didn't, they didn't ask me much about myself. Anna. They directly uh, straight up uh, told me that this project you have done. Uh, and they asked few questions like what is the difference between the visible and display, like that questions in depth. So. A uh, few questions I was able to answer, and I was very frankly uh, saying that I wasn't able to. Uh, uh, I I didn't know. I didn't remember. See, if uh, you don't know something, you should tell frankly in spite of uh, telling it uh, randomly. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. yeah. So that's one thing. Uh, next, uh, uh, they asked me DSA questions also, and uh, some new variation questions they asked me about SQL, but I have to uh, implement it by. Coding, yeah, and uh, suppose I have given them answers, so they were like, uh, suppose as well, uh, I have used uh, where, uh, so in spite of that, uh, they told me to give another approach in spite of using this, so like that. They, so that testing your uh, logical thing, like or logical part, yeah, this great, great, great. So I, uh, so finally, like five of you got shortlist, so like, yeah. right? So like. Uh, how the Sasselab's whole selection process or level of push is different from the Oracle or other companies which you have given interview? Okay. The main difference comes uh, how the online test is. See, reasonable service team is every, uh, uh, safe for every uh, company. Uh, might be there is CGP cutoff difference. Uh, the online test uh, conducted by the Oracle was only three questions. First was uh, SQL. Uh, the second was uh, BSA based and third uh, they asked uh, REST API. So uh, apart from that, uh, the in, in interview, it was an online interview. Uh, they asked uh, me DSA questions only. Uh, they didn't ask me about the project. So like that's how in SASLAB they focus more on the practicality what you had done. So I still remember uh, the day when SASLAB was just uh, almost like 110 members have given the OT. Yeah. And I guess they have shortly stayed Ten people or liver people. Yeah. Uh, in that eleven people, they have selected side, and the interview process. Also, think when I was there, you see, we that side was smooth and fast. So, like we, everyone was impressed, and like most of us, any issue with the way they have connected the interviews. So, like it was fair enough and fast enough, very really smooth. Like I don't even know that you get <laughs> <laughs> exactly, exactly. So by after the one o'clock itself, we got yeah, yeah. these people got offer letters, and they have give them goodies, and they left. So that's how morning was the exam. So I heard like the level of questions were a bit uh, on the high the first side. Uh, that's what I got a review or feedback from the students. Yeah. And you know, like this is the first time they've visited NIT, uh, like uh, leading us at IITs. When they usually visit only IITs for our placement. This is the first time they visited. That too, just because that uh, the founder of SAS Labs is our alumni. Uh, so like that's how the alumni it was. Or is it simply it was not open for other brands? Yeah, you know, like there was one thing. Was they have uh, as open for all. Once open sending the sh- like uh, applications. So this they are shortlisted. Shortlisted. MME, MME, biotechnology, chemical. Uh, so all the civil, oh. all these four branches. Right. And you know, guys, what? After talking to the founder directly, we made the HR to open it for everyone. Okay. Everyone wrote the exam. People got shortlisted from all the branches. But at the end, the, all the selects are from non circle okay. branches, which they removed first. So that's how the things work. It's just a positive way of uh, brands. There are many other companies which also reject based on your brands, yeah. isn't it? Like, yeah. do you did you encounter those kind of uh, things? Well, uh, like campus placement, yeah. exactly. So yeah. So yesterday, someone was saying that. So this is the positive way of a brand or anything. Like uh, saying uh, about the skill, talking about the skill of a student from not secure. This is the positive way. The negative way of Saying the same thing is getting rejected just in uh, just because of brands. Uh, just because of the just because of the brands. So that's how you need to manage both. You have to accept both. Right. Yeah. You should never yeah. waste a chance. Yeah. Your preparation ready. No, you did never know that when a uh, nice a good company you are uh, getting into the post. Okay. So yeah, yeah. How happy you are uh, getting PhD to SD or like when did you make up your mind that you wanted to go to SD rather than leave uh, like core and all other stuff. Being an MME student, it is like, uh, first of all, you think like core, you will focus on. Uh, in my first year, every, uh, my CEC and uh, circuit uh, press friends were very used to coding. And I was like, I don't happen to coding, I'll go in coding. 
then uh, in uh, to, uh, when uh, my, uh, this department study started in Dover and Duty Sense, so I got to know that uh, there is a lot of stuff which I am not getting interested in. So my friend suggested me to just start coding, even if I am not interested, just to start it. So I started it uh, from the Dover, like basic knowledge, I did, uh, I learned C++ again from the scratch. Then uh, during here, uh, like uh, with my friends, I was to uh, sort questions because there was an in-depth session during two one. Yes. Yeah, so it was very fast for me because my friends has already studied, and I was like just getting into the seat. So my friends were able to solve questions in the fifteen minutes that I had to take one hour for that question. So I know where I was lagging behind because my problem uh, solving the uh, practice was worse and. Uh, uh, so that was the reason uh, why I didn't got uh, any indoor. But uh, later on, uh, I got this thing that if I forever uh, like, uh, move on this software, I got that interest. But only so just by starting was proud. Okay, just by starting small thing like you got interest yeah. and you started yeah. focusing on the software. That in the uh, middle, I was not getting it to any it done. So I got the motivation. <laughs> then again, I started like. Uh, in December, uh, three months seven like properly I started because placement time was uh, approaching and I was like, just internship, let's talk because it was better. So from that, my main uh, aim was. Okay. So what are the things, mainly the qualities which SAS Labs look in order to like hire the people? What are the and what are they looking at? Majorly, they have like problems or any skills. Uh, my DAC was uh, majorly uh, good. Uh, I took like, uh, I still remember one of the questions was not so typical. And, uh, I took around 30 minutes for that question. And they did tell me like, uh, it's okay, we will move on to the next. I, I, I asked him like, can I ask him like, please give me two minutes, I'm almost to the solution. So he was very impressed by looking at how I was able to solve the question. Yeah. And uh, apart from that, uh, uh, how you are sincerely answering every question if you don't know. Say that you don't know, don't uh, randomly uh, bubble. And uh, apart from that, uh, how you are able to think uh, solution to a problem in different ways. That's how like, they asked you in a different approach also. Yeah. But in terms of technicality, like what technical skills are in? Technical skills, majorly they were uh, focusing on web development part, like uh, how your uh, front end and uh, back end is strengthened. Even though it is not, but TSA is major. Well, every company, is. it's your uh, best in DAC there. So, yeah. oops, and DBMS didn't ask me much, but SQL they asked. So. Oh, okay, great. So, back end also they're focusing. Yeah. Okay. It's all about if you're uh, mentioning anything in your resume, they will ask. They okay, will well, uh, create a very good resume. Okay. okay. Based, based on the JD also. So, what are your plans uh, in future? Like, will you be continuing to uh, do a job or will you, go, wait for, will you be going for higher studies? Uh, right now, I have uh, think that two to three years I do job only. Which is doesn't know. Okay. So, like, what will you do with your first family? I'm thinking to buy gifts for my family okay. and for friends. Buy okay. stuff for me. And <laughs> so, all like you are very active uh, in the dance and all. So, like, how did that extracurricular activities help you? Uh, during this beat day, yeah. right. and extracurricular activities help you like uh, gaining the confidence. Yeah. Uh, suppose uh, interviewer asks you how did you manage leadership skills. So you can say that you have worked in team. Okay. Like, so that's also you can say you have worked in team. Put it. Yeah. Put it up. The point. Yeah. Like that's just you get. Uh, suppose they are suppose they are interviewer really asking question. You can see that I have done this. Okay. I have was a part of these uh, extracurricular activities. I have used that skill as this this year. So like, what would you suggest the, the people from non circuit mainly? In order to get themselves placed as a software developer role. So what they have to do mainly yeah. and when they have to start actually. Even if they start late, can they do it? How how should they do it? So uh it's better to start early first of all, because if you uh, don't know anything, you should uh, at least give it if you if you are not also interested, just do it. I think it is better for uh to uh, have a backup in placement, even if you want to go for the highest. So, you start like uh, one year before uh, the placement, at least one year. This is sufficient. Once 
if uh, one cent is to be six months before is also yeah, starts. But, but that's from the foundation level. Foundation level. You should have you know, some, some idea of like see business. Issues. Because uh, three to four months majorly will go to learning the concepts. Okay. So learning the concepts is uh, majorly important. At least then you go once practice. Practice. Yeah. So, so the, like, oh, you will do it together. Like yeah. uh, learning and practice together. Uh, so, uh, so what are the platforms you suggest for her practicing? The major, uh, so it's, it depends on time first of all. If you have less time, you can have only six months. So uh, learn from a good platform like uh, GFG, that way schools I have report. And so that was enough for me for learning the concept. Oh. Apart from that for practication, uh, I, uh, there is majorly two platforms. And the uh, hacker and can interview with. But at the time interview, I, have, I had only six months. Uh, from three months to or, okay. or the place in right? Okay. So I focused on interview based because it has only limited set of questions for for each specific topic. Okay. Suppose array has uh, around uh, thirty to fifty questions, and if suppose uh, array I did I I gave the confidence. Okay. Uh, but suppose there is a DP, it is a little bit tricky. I'm not able to get the confidence. So uh, in order to get for the confidence, uh, I went for another brand like Like he could have several questions. Yeah, you don't know how much to solve, but like uh, so, I like fifty medium questions, five easy questions. Once you gain confidence, then it is zero. Yeah. So like you should be like, yeah, I'm perfect at this particular. Perfect. Topic. Yeah. You will get that. Yeah, I'm able to solve this question. Yeah. Okay. No, I suggest that uh, uh, first uh, prior months of starting, uh, focus on DSE only, and uh, once uh, there is a two months left for place uh, placing series, like uh, June or July, uh, start project. Months, one month you should give completely for project. Project is important because as come from the enemy, enemy uh, uh, large, large safety clients, they expect you to have some knowledge in the this this type of areas. So you don't have internship. If you have internship, that is okay. But if you don't have internship, then project is uh, where you stand up your you have and project is where you can kill time of interview. You can see, it. yeah. So uh, in spite of expecting a higher higher and difficult the DAC push. It is easy to keep the time in this coming process. Yeah. Like it should be attractive so that interviewer's eyes goes there and yeah. I should be able to uh, like ask you questions with yeah. that. Yeah. And at the same time, you should also be ready with that with your answers. Yeah. So thank you so much, Azim, for sharing all this stuff. So congratulations and all the best for your future. Uh, so in possible and future also, we'll try to do make some more uh, podcast if possible. And yeah. <laughs> So, yeah, thank you so much. Uh, so, that's all for this video, guys. Uh, make sure you comment on the best part of this video in the comment section. And let me know what are the other companies you are looking for, uh, like, the, in the same interview process or the baseline series. So, that's all for this video. See you in the next one. I'm Bill. Take care. Bye-bye. Jane. Mm -hmm.